Hello friends, in this video I'm going to install the view router and I'm going to create some uh, routes. So if you go to the next router, viewjs.org, next.router.viewjs.org and installation, install via npm or yarn. So copy this command, go to the terminal and paste that in, hit enter. Okay, now I'm going to run npm run dev. And uh, you see here we need the JS config file, but I'm going to overwrite for now. So here is our application. And I'm going to open the VS code here and open the mine JS. If you go to the packages JSON, here we have the view router four. Okay. Now go to the main JS and here we can import the I'm going to import above here. So import the create router from view router and also the create web history okay and after that come here and say const create a constant for router And now create a router. And here I'm going to add the history and add create web history. And here we are going to add the routes. And we don't have routes for now, but I'm going to create immediately. So and we need some uh, components so i'm going to create here a new file name it uh, laravel.view okay and just i'm going to add a view with default here h1 and Laravel page, save and close. I'm going, to I'm going to create another one for the Tilewind CSS.view and the same thing add the view default and H1 Tilewind CSS page, hit save. And also one for the view JS itself, so view dot view. Okay, H one view JS page. Save this one, close and close this one. Now here in the roads we need to add the the path okay and first is going to be the Vue.js so I'm going to say the home is going to be Vue.js or we can add what we want but I'm going to add Vue.js so the name is going to be view and we need the component which is going to be the view JS component. We need now we need to import that component. So I want to separate the components from 
the modules. So come here and say import Vue.js from sorry dot components and uh, Vue.js dot view and it's is important to add the dot view because we are using vid. Okay. Next one is the same thing with Laravel. So I'm going to say here the path is going to be slash Laravel. And we need to add the name. And the name is going to be Laravel and the component is going to be Laravel and we need to import the component here import Laravel from dot components and the slash Laravel dot view and the next one is the tile in CSS path slash tilewind and added the name tilewind and also the component which is going to be Tilewind and we need to import it here. Import Tilewind from dot slash components slash Tilewind CSS dot view. Now we have the router and you see here we don't use this for right for this is a uh, highlighted it's not highlighted okay so i need to use with our page because it's, if i save and go to the browser and navigate for example to the uh, laravel okay we don't uh, see any changes because we need to use that and here we can say use and use the router okay but again if we go and refresh nothing happened we need to go to the app.view And here, where, when we where we want to add to display the components, for example, here we have the, the low end. Here we have the image. I'm going to remove and the image and the template. Also remove all, all of this and this one. And here I'm going to say uh, rotor view. And now the rotor view is going to render the component match to this uh, URL. Okay, so if we have slash Laravel, it's going to render the uh, Laravel component to this uh, endpoint and the, the same thing to this one. Okay, so come here and hit save. And now we have the Laravel page. If we go to the uh, sorry, Tilewind. We have the Tilewind CSS page. If we go back, we have the Vue.js page. But you see here, we need if we go to the Laravel and we have the, the reloaded, we can use here the router link. So 
say a router link and call the slash is going to be for Vue.js. Copy this and paste. And now so this is going to be for the Laravel. And so Laravel the route. And also this is going to be the uh, Tilewind. And the slash Tilewind is save and come here, refresh. Yeah, we have uh, this navigation. We don't have style, but the okay, case so if I clicked on the Vue.js, yeah, we have Vue.js and the URL change. Go to the Tilewind. Okay, Laravel. Okay. Now we are done with the, but uh, if we have a more large uh, application, we need to separate this uh, router and just use the router here and import the router. For that, I'm going to create a new folder here, name name it uh, router and inside here I'm going to say start new file index.js okay and what we have for the router I'm going to import the cut from here and uh, come here and paste it and we need to import also the router itself also I'm going to export this one we need to export to use that export default router okay and uh, I'm going to, you can leave it like this, or I'm going to remove this, or just cut from here, and create another constant here, just to separate, so, const routes, yeah, and it's going to be with this array, and now, we have more much clean. So here's the routes, here is the router, and we uh, export the default. Now hit it, save here, close, and come here and import that. Import the uh, router from router and index.js and hit save from here and ah yeah now we need to change the import here because we are inside the router so from here and go up to levels components and uh, we have here the Vue.js and the same thing for the orders I'm going to just add another comma here and hit save and yeah go to the Laravel yeah we are in the Laravel go to the Vue.js Tilewind and so on that's it for this video friends hope you enjoy and See you in the next one. All the best.